hello guys best in keto here and in this video i'm going to show you how you can design a very good uh, responsive website using a free version of elementor page page builder okay so responsive website simply means that these are websites that can fit on all kinds of devices so you design a website that will fit that will display very well on the desktop view that will display display very well on the tablet view and very well on the mobile view you do this because of two major reasons okay so the first reason is because of search engine optimization mobile friendly websites are ranked better on search engines like google okay and then the second reason is that there is an increasing uh, number of users that are accessing your website are going to be accessing your website using the mobile devices so if you make your website mobile friendly it will be easier for them to assess it and to stay on your website for a longer period of time okay so you need to make it responsive that's the, uh, the other word okay so if you look at this website now look at this website that is the website i'm going to use to show you how to to design a very good and responsive website using the free version of elementor page builder okay so without waste of time we'll go straight into this so we are going to create a new page so come to add new so you can hide it here so that the title will not display on the page itself you can hide it then you publish So edit with Elementor. So this is our page here. You can see we have our header and footer. So we are going to create this page from the scratch, okay? But if you are using uh, starter templates here, which are already designed blocks or pages, as you can see here, you will not need to do a lot of settings, a lot of uh, adjustment to make it responsive, okay? So but when you add elements yourself, like we are going to do in this example now, you will need to first uh, make them, make the pages responsive, okay? So let's go and create this page from scratch. So let's add a section here. Let's use something like this our well, section is here so select it and give it a background so we are going to use a picture so Let's do something like this. Insert. So our background is there. So let's make it. Um, let's increase the height. Fit to screen. So I can see this is the size I want. But the pictures, the background is on repeat. So come back to style and then select this repeat select no repeat and then come to size and select cover okay so this is our background here let's add background overlay to it to make it look more beautiful so let's add maybe black so let me reduce the opacity a little okay so let's leave it like this so i'm going to add a title here so i'll edit so 
So let's give this one H1 and centralize it and let's change the color to, to white. Let's call it to white and then we'll add some text here so we can make this white too. Then let's put the margin. So, this margin, when you link it, when you change any figure here, it's going to change on all sides, okay. So I want to increase it only on the left and right. So I will unlink it here. Maybe put something like 200 on the left and 200 on the right. So maybe something like this. Then let me let's put it in the middle. Align middle and then maybe add a button there. I did this button get started? Put it in the middle. So I think this is fine. So we are done with that section. Let's add another section here. So maybe two columns this time. So add a title here. So maybe this is about, so put text here. So you can duplicate this, right click and duplicate and just make them two there. Then this side you maybe add an image there, an image or a video, depending on what you want. So put an image there choose an image so our images are here we want to select this insert so we have our image there so now you see that these sections are too close I want to add space here so I can just select this section then come to advance and then on the top here on the top here again I will unlink it and then Add space on the top. Okay, so we are done with that. So we want to add another section here, maybe for events. So our section is there. So let's just double click this. Let's right click and click on duplicate. So drag this and put here. Okay, so you can change this to event and then put it to the middle. Of course, I will add the space to So I will add another section. So this time, maybe three columns. So it's not an image here. Select an image. So I'll go with this image. Insert. So let me duplicate this. So take it down to this place. So we'll change this to maybe Riverside. So reduce this to something like this H4. Then you add a little text depending on what you want. You can also add a button if you want to link it to a page. You can add it there. So you can set all the other things. We want to add shadow. 
go to style advanced you add it so but we are done let's right let's uh, duplicate this remember this is a column so if you duplicate here it's going to duplicate the whole of these three elements here the image the heading and the text okay so right click and duplicate so we want them to be three duplicate again so now I can remove these other ones that are empty here. Delete. Delete this. So you can edit this, change the images to what you want, title and all of that, okay? So now, let's go ahead and have another section, maybe for testimonials. So I'll use only one column. So let's duplicate this, then put it here. So duplicate it again, I want to use two. So this one, I'll edit it to testimonials. So maybe I'll reduce it to H5. So this one, I'll put it to maybe something like our happy client. Then I'm going to increase this to maybe H3. Then I'll put text here. So let me add this text. I'll copy and paste. Okay. So go to advance. Again, I'll put something like 250. And on this side, 250 also. So we we'll have this. So let's centralize the text. We we'll have this. And then maybe I want to add the picture of the, the client. Let's add this here. Select the image. So maybe we'll choose this. Insert. So this is our image here. So I will come under advanced and mask it so that it will be in a round cycle. So I'll mask it. So I see. But the image is too big. So let's come back to let's come back to style here and reduce it. So maybe to something like this. Then we'll put the person's name, duplicate this, drag it down. So it changes to so right click, duplicate again. So here is my portfolio. So you see this, I can reduce the size of this one to H6. Then I'll bring it closer. So I want to add Another thing here, maybe a phone. So duplicate this. So add a section here. Drag it down. So edit this. We love to hear from you. So we are going to insert a form here. Drag on. This is a WP form. Contact form. 
New food. So we have our form here. So they can fill and submit. So let's give some space here. So basically, we are done designing our page now. So now, let's update this so that our changes will be saved. So it's been saved now. So let's go back and view our page now. So view page, open a new tab. So this is our website here. As you can see, this is what we did, okay? So if you right click here, and you come to inspect. You see that this is how it will appear on the mobile version. So see, see this, this is the mobile view. You see that some of these things are not arranged well. Okay, so let's change this to another view. You see, it's not very okay. Change it to tab. You tap view, not very okay. So now we are going to make this page responsive. So let's go back to Elementor. So when you come back to your Elementor here, come down to this responsive mode here. So when you click on this responsive mode, you will see different mobile, different uh, screen views here. So you see desktop, you see tablet, and then you see mobile, okay? You can add more screen views by clicking on manage breakpoints here. So you can click here and add more screens. So mobile extra, look at tablet extra, look at white screen. So if you want, you can click here and add them and they will reflect on this bar here, okay? So, but we are not going to add it. We are going to use these three. These three breakpoints alone, uh, okay, okay. So just close this. So we are going to start with the tablet view here. So we click on the tablet view. So this is how this web page will appear on the tablet view. It only appear on the tablet, okay. So look at this text now. We consider making the, this text wider. Okay, so this is the setting that you have on desktop view. It will affect the mobile view, the tablet view, and the mobile view. And then the setting you make on the tablet view will also affect the mobile view, okay? But it will not affect the, the desktop view, okay? So we are going to quickly widen this text. And then come to advanced. So I will unlink this. I'll set this to 60. Then this to 60 also. So I'll go down. Everything seems to be good here except this so I'll select this and expand it as well so I'll unlink it and then another important thing is this look at this icon here this tablet icon so any feature that you see here that is carrying this tablet icon it means that you can change the setting, it will affect only the tablet view. Look at another one here, look at another one here. This position now, if you change this position, it's going to affect the all the views. It's going to affect the desktop, the tablet, and the mobile, okay? So you are not going to be changing these ones. So if you change this Z index now, it's going to affect only the tablet, okay? So if you come to desktop now, you see that the icons will change to desktop. And if you go to mobile, it also changed to mobile, okay? So take note of that. It's very, very important, okay? 
so now I will increase this to maybe 50 and then this also to 50 so this thing can be a carousel okay so but we are doing a simple page so I don't want to go into all of that but you can insert a carousel here from starter templates and you will use it okay so now uh, let's bring this image closer and then maybe increase the size too so I'll click here so I'll increase the width here well this is okay so let me bring it up a little so that we we'll close this gap I'll come to advanced so this is the top reduce the size a little <coughs> But this is okay so our form is okay so that is it for our tablet view so let's update this so let's go to the mobile view so click on mobile view here so as you can see we can bring this title down so let's click here come to advanced so I'll, I'll link it so but this now is padding so let's increase the padding here padding top padding is the inside why margin is the outside okay so we are increasing the, the distance the space between the text and the border of this shape here this element so let's reduce the size of this font too so click on size because of SEO we are not going to change it from H1 okay of course we would have just clicked here and changed it to H2 but because of SEO we are, SEO, we are leaving it on H1 so we'll come to style and reduce this font size style size here so typography reduce the size 25 it's okay so let's adjust this one too so as you can see this is the settings we made on the tablet view that's affected the mobile view too but it won't affect the desktop view okay so I'll link it here so this text we can even leave it like this so come down select this Centralize this, then this style, centralize it, then come here and close this gap. So here, bottom. So reduce this to So centralize it. So come down. <coughs> of course, everything here is okay, except this. So click here, unlink it. so sometimes you will want to remove some elements you want some elements to appear on mobile and you don't want them to appear on other screen views okay so in that case you just need to come to responsive here so look at hide on desktop you can hide this on desktop but it will show on tablet and mobile then you can if you want to hide it on tablet if you want, if you want to hide it on mobile the options are here okay so all you just need to click is to do is just to click like now on mobile we are on mobile now if you want to hide this you just click here and it will hide it will not display here 
but to display on the other views okay so for this particular element we don't want it to display so just leave it like this then let's go ahead come down to this place let's increase the size of this image of course the color of this text we can make it fainter make it look more faint than the title than the name there so let's come here and change the color note that this is going to affect all views because there's no uh, screen icon here so the color here yeah we want that so now our form is okay our footer is okay everything is okay now so that is how to design a responsive web, web page okay so this kind of website now will fit on desktop to fit on tab to fit on the mobile screen very well so if this video is valuable to you please go ahead and click on the like button subscribe to the channel if you have not done and then also click on the notification button so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be notified thank you very much see you in my next video bye